India, the world's largest democracy, is going through a massive transformation. The country is starting to see itself as a global player and is getting a lot more attention. But is everybody happy about India's rise? Between December 2016 and April 2017, close to 18,000 citizens ranging across 19 different countries were interviewed. During the interviews, which were conducted by telephone or in person, they were questioned as to whether they considered India's influence around the globe to be mostly positive or mostly negative. The results may surprise some of you. Turkey holds the fifth position in regards to considering India's influence to be a negative one. With a 44% vote, nearly half of the respondents in Turkey reported that they view India's global influence as being negative. However, it should be taken into consideration that the survey was taken before the tensions between India and Turkey rose to the levels that they are today. It comes as a surprise that Turkey is tied with Canada for the fifth position. India's influence was voted as being mainly negative by 44% of the Canadian participants. What makes this so unexpected is that there is a large Indian diaspora in Canada and it is a popular location for Indian students pursuing a higher education. Canada has even served as the destination for the filming of several Bollywood movies. It is likely that you will encounter a tour guide speaking in French if you visit one of the tourism locations in India. French is the preferred language for many Indian students that are interested in learning a foreign language. Many Indian travelers have Paris on their list of destinations to visit. Indians who are planning to visit France may also want to know that according to the survey, 53% of France's respondents view India's world influence as being mainly negative. It comes as no surprise that China holds the third spot, as 56% of the respondents viewed India's influence as being negative. There have been lingering tensions between the countries as several events ranging from the Doklam crisis to the War of 1962 have caused the levels of animosity to rise. India is also seen as China's future rival in economic terms. Despite many Indians cheering and pledging their support for Brazil during the international football tournaments, the survey uncovered that 57% of those in Brazil think that India's influence is mainly negative. That was even 1% greater than the people of China and was the most unexpected information revealed during the 2017 study, as only 36% of Brazilians considered India's influence to be negative a few years ago during the first survey. There is no competition for Pakistan in regards to the negativity that they feel towards India. Unsurprisingly, India's influence was viewed as being mainly negative by 62% of the Pakistan respondents. With only 10% of the Russians viewing India's world influence as being negative, they possessed the least negative view towards India out of all the countries that participated in the study. It is worth noting that India and Russia share a bond with close historical connections and have always maintained strong bilateral relations, which has kept their ties friendly. Globescan, an international polling institute, and its research partners in each country work together with the University of Maryland's Programme for Public Consultation to conduct these polls for BBC World Service. Respondents were asked to rate 16 countries and the European Union on whether their influence in the world is mostly positive or mostly negative. But this may cause some to speculate and ask why BBC is so focused on how the countries perceive one another. Indications from the poll also seem to suggest that India's world influence took a hit after the Nirbhaya incident, as after 2013, the way that it was viewed globally by other countries took a sudden downward spiral. How countries are perceived is largely influenced by geopolitics as well as the media around the globe. Has India done enough to improve how it is perceived globally? I have been living in India for many years. With all the unfortunate media stereotypes, if one really wants to come close to knowing what India is, one must spend many years living in this country. The knowledge systems of India's civilizational heritage are a global asset and unfortunately, many among us are not even benefiting from them yet. The global community should be encouraged to explore and discover the valuable and relevant elements that it can find from India's literary, linguistic, philosophical, scientific, technological, medical and artistic heritage and from the contributions that the country has made to other civilizations and cultures.
and it is because Bharat, with all its Shakti Pitas and many other pilgrimage centric spiritual landmarks which were scattered all over the subcontinent and beyond, was born long before it was given the name of India. See you again.